Hey guys, it's me, JHJJHG1, and it's 1.44 a.m. as I'm doing this. Anyways, since I don't have, um, my camera, and, um, since the battery's dead, I decided that, um, I'm going to use the screen recorder, and I'm going to use it. And I'm going to tell you guys what I think about the Girl of the Year 2014, Isabel. And is it wrong that I don't even know Isabel's last name yet? Oh, that just shows how much I love her. Um, don't get me wrong. I I don't think she's the worst doll ever. I'm just not a fan of her. So warning, if you're absolutely love in love with Isabel, um and you don't like it when people criticize her I recommend you don't watch this video because as an American Girl doll collector who has a total of 32 American Girl dolls I kind of have very opinion opinionated um, I'm very opinion I can't pronounce the word I have a lot of opinions on certain dolls and this is just one doll that has not won my heart over like all the other dolls that I've seen recently. Um, I'm also going to be the, probably making this a series um, of me screen recording and telling you how I feel about certain dolls. I think this will be good because I can easy access to Google and Google some stuff and show you pictures. Um, it's just more convenient for me and I think it's um, a better way to show you guys stuff. Um, so I hope you like it. I've been wanting to make an American Girl Love video, and I guess this is just where you guys are gonna have to deal with for now. Um, I will be making Minecraft videos too. Um, who knows what? Um, so let's start off. Um, let's just start off with their outfit. No, first let's start off with the price $120 for Isabel Doll in Book. Last time I checked, the dolls are only $110. She is $10 more than every other doll. I have no idea why. Um, we'll start off with her outfit. I personally think her meat outfit's pretty bland. There's not much to it. Some pants, some underwear, and a, a shirt. Um, from what I've heard, the hair extension is a pain to get in. And you can't even really see it once it's in your doll's hair. I personally don't, I'm not a fan of it. I like the streaks and stuff that you can buy for your dolls. But that's pretty much it. I kind of, I'm not a big fan of the whole pink in the hair thing. I don't know. It's a bit too girly for me. Um, her face. I don't like it. Um, it's very typical to me. I mean, yeah, if you're if you're a girl and she she looks like you, then that's great. But I'm just saying for a like get her, love her. She's not a bad doll. But I for me, she's just not the type of doll that I want. I want to because she looks like she looks too much like all my other dolls. I have other dolls that have green eyes and blonde hair. A big majority, like huge majority what am I even saying? A majority of my dolls have blonde hair. I'm kind of sick of having blonde haired dolls. Um, she has the basic face mold. Um, basic, pretty basic looking hair to me. Um, she just doesn't seem anything special. Not a hundred and twenty dollars plus shipping and handling fees worth to me. But that's just my opinion. Um, she looks like an, a, just a plain um, my American Girl doll, and she also looks a bit like Kaylee, Girl of the Year, 2001, no, 2002, and I own her. So let's just keep going through the pictures. It's not, yeah, it's pretty, um, it's not really, I like the shoes, I admit, I like her shoes, that's pretty much it. Um, she's a good doll, I guess. I just won't be getting her. Um, I don't like that she's a dancer. Um, there's so many other dolls that are dancers. Um, I mean, even Sage, the doll that just got retired, 
she also had like a bit of dancing inside her mixture of story. So, I don't know. I'm going to go show you guys a picture of Kaylee and so you can see how she kind of resembles Kaylee in a way. Now we're on Google and we have Kaylee and I own Kaylee. Um, she just looks like a newer version of Kaylee with the green eyes. To me, at least. Um, with some feathered eyebrows. Give Kaylee some green eyes and feathered eyebrows. And it's, you know, it's Isabel. Like, you have to admit, that looks like Isabel. And that's Kaylee. Um, I own Kaylee, and Isabel and Kaylee are just, they just look too much alike to me. Um, another YouTuber actually pointed so I don't know what just happened, but um, the recording got um, paused, so I'm just going to continue to what I was saying. So basically, um, if the case I got cut off, what I was saying was um, Isabel looks like a Kaylee with green eyes and feathered eyebrows. You cannot say that that doesn't, you know, look like Isabel, or Isabel looks like Kaylee, and since I own Kaylee, I don't want Isabel. Um, because, I don't know, it's just, something about her, I don't like her, it's just my opinion, um, yeah, I mean, all these other girl viewers, they're really creative, I have Lindsay, I have Mary, I actually, I don't have these two girls, I don't have these three girls, I need these, um, Mia, Nikki, and Jess are the only girl of the years that I still need. Other than Kaylee, which I don't think... Not Kaylee. Other than Isabel, which I don't think I'm going to get her. Unless I find her on eBay for an incredibly cheap price. She just doesn't seem like a creative doll. I don't like her. That's my opinion. And hope you guys can respect that. So that was my opinion on American Isabel, American Girl Doll Isabel 2014 Girl of the Year. I hope you liked it. Um, more videos are going to be uploaded probably within minutes. Because um, I'm going straight to make another video. Probably your view on American Girl Doll Rebecca. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a fabulous day. Goodbye.